got access to a great spot right on the river. Time to put the tent up and get ready for the sun to go down. It's overnight casting vibes for Mulloway. There you go, so that's that soft vibe. Just punch it out, vibrations at night. It's a difficult way to fish because you can't really see what your rod tip's doing. And it's just a matter of hopping that soft vibe. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. Beautiful little mull away on the, on the soft vibe and they work so, so well. Magnificent little fish. Look at that. He's beautiful little mull away. He's got a, got a lot of growing to do yet. The lures are, are a very successful way to catch fish. And just in the, in the name of that lure, a soft vibe, it's that vibration they put out. So in the night, at night time, see so there's lateral line running down the side of the fish here. So they sit there in the current. That lateral line helps them detect any vibration that looks like a small fish. And that's what my lure is supposed to look like. And this fellow pounced straight on it. Oh, oh, there you go. So big long cast, I've got this rock wall running all the way along. On the sink, I've had a bit of a tap. That's always a good sign, wow. Just on the sink, so I just get that vibration. I can feel it through the rod tip. Oh, there, there he is. Woo. <laughs> oh, yes. Wow, this is sensational. Far nicer fish, this one. It's important to keep that tension on the fish, keep it moving up the rock face, because that's where they will push you in. And that's a, it's a next size fish up. Just try and get him under control. I haven't got a net here with me, so I can get hold of that leader. Pretty good hooks in this, these things and these vibes. There he is, so he's just a bit bigger than the last one. And uh, I guess the important thing to remember there is when you're fishing with lures, you're always fishing with lures and you, and you think to yourself, well, what, is, what does that actually mean? So when you cast out, the moment that lure hits the water, a surface fish could come along and grab it. In this case, that lure's sinking and fluttering down and then bang, I've had a whack on the way down and that fish has followed it down. I've lifted it up, given it the vibration, crash, it's eaten it. So whenever your lure's in the water, just remember it's working all the time. Whether you're working it or not, it's probably swimming to the bottom. Well, these vibes, they come in a range of different colours, and these ones have got pretty decent trebles in them, so they're ready to go. I'm thinking, I like the look of the bright pink. I thought I might give one of those a go as well. Caught a couple on that chartreuse colour, but I like that bright pink eye, and I'm thinking maybe this darker one, uh, simply because it's night time, it'll give off a good silhouette being dark. Okay, so as far as tackle goes, uh, I've got a 5,000 size spin reel here and some 14 pound braid. Do need to pull pretty hard because those fish are gonna try and get you back in amongst the rocks. This is a five to nine kilo spin rod. So quite a powerful rod, got a lot of power down in this lower section. And then we go up to our rig and then we've got our, uh, our, our double uni knot straight onto a length of 40 pound fluorocarbon leader because uh, mull away, especially hook a big one, can certainly wear through that leader. It's just a matter of a slow lift and hop, nothing too aggressive. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> oh, that, that is just sensational. I do a lot of lure fishing. I've got to tell you, this is so good because you can't see what you're doing, you've really got to rely on your senses and that's the crucial thing. And uh, you, need a, you need a good quality swimming lure like these vibes to make it all work. Come on buddy, come out of those rocks. Another nice little mull away. There he is. Come here buddy. Just, just caught that one underneath him there. So obviously, he's taken a bit of a shining to that. Ten all together. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, it's so violent. They are hunting so hard. Now, if you can see the moon, it's right up above me. It's full. I lost it there for a minute. These little mulloway are hunting so hard in the dark. It just crunched that vibe then. Absolutely crunched it. Great fun at that. Oh, he's a little tack of this one. <laughs> Any time you can catch mulloway and lures is a special night and uh, it's all about perseverance 
getting away from the television set and having a go. Tonight I've got a big flooding run in tide and as the water slows down, the bite picks up. Oh, clunk. Just watching the way those Mulloway bite on lures, they, I honestly think they actually prowl up behind the lure and then just make one big move at it. There's not a lot of finesse, it's just an absolute all out attack to eat that lure. That leader. Oh, I could do this all night. That's terrific fun. Absolutely terrific fun. And they're an amazing lure, these. They're, they're tough. They're, uh, they're such a resilient lure, and you can use them over and over again. And uh, it's all about that profile on the head there. That's what gives it the vibration. So those canines there, they're for gripping bait fish and holding onto them nice and tight. And see if we open his mouth up. Small fish, but he can fit a fair bit in there. So they're a real predator. They'll fly out of the school. Obviously these fellas are in quite a large school here at the moment. And grab what they want to eat and then take off and try and swallow it before one of their mates gets hold of it. So, and it's that competition, that spirit of competition amongst these guys in the school that makes them such a good predator when you're throwing lures in the right area. Well, that's been a, a terrific vibing session for Mulloway and any time you can catch them on lures is, is just, just the way to go. I really do get a lot out of that. It's two o'clock in the morning, I'm pretty tired. I think it's time to get off this thing and, uh, and go and climb in the tent and get some shut-eye. Catch you later.